Hello everyone. Welcome to Afro News South Africa. To support this channel please kindly subscribe and share. Turn on the notification bell, so you won't be left out in any video. It seems as though the Palapala story is far from ending. Every day there is new information dropping, leaving people with more questions. Over a week ago, President Cyril Ramaphosa denied being involved in any criminal conduct. The president said the estimated $4 million, more than 60 million rands, which was reported to have been stolen at his Palapala farm in Limpopo, with the proceeds from the business transaction of selling animals, because he is a game farmer. Ramaphosa did admit that there was a robbery, and that there's money that was stolen. He however, denied the $4 million figure, saying the amount was far lesser than what Frazier claimed in his affidavit. Sunday World has now reported that the thief has confessed. In its article, it says that the Palo Palo mastermind has revealed that they only walked away with $800,000 around 13 million rands. It has also been reported that they only stole that amount because the president's domestic worker begged them not to take all the money that was stuffed in a leather couch. Again, the Palo Palo issue is reaching a breaking point with each passing day. IOL has just reported that one of the suspects who allegedly stole some of the American dollars from Ramaphosa has been arrested. This news comes as we are in the process of discussing it. At Ramaphosa's property, it would appear that millions of dollars in American currency, with a value that is estimated to range anywhere from $4 million to $8 million, have been concealed beneath mattresses and couches. It has been stated that one of the males was taken into custody for having an unlicensed pistol in his possession when he was searched. It is believed that he is being held in custody in Cape Town. After evading a roadblock, Shimwako was found in possession of firearms that were registered to the Namibian police force, thus he is now facing prosecution. According to IOL, Urbanus Shimwako, a Namibian national with a South African identity book, was arrested in October 2020 for possessing an unlicensed firearm. The arrest was made for the offense of possessing an unlicensed firearm. The firearm, which is suspected to have been used in a number of burglaries, is currently the subject of an investigation by the police. Before it was determined that Shimwako was engaged in the notorious robbery, it was not a matter of public concern that he had been apprehended. The Cape Town Magistrates Court is expecting him to make an appearance the following month.